Hello folks and in this video we're going to do a nice easy black wash, a kind of oldie worldy wash over these items here and as you can see they're finished and pretty much dry. So we've got this kind of oldie worldy worn look. So let's get started. So we're going to do a dark simple paint wash over this uh, dragon which we casted up recently. In some of the previous videos we did the casting and we protected it with the concrete hardener dust proofer stuff also so what i'm going to do here a simple job and we'll we'll experiment with a few different types of uh, washes over the course of time but in this video like i say we're just going to do a simple simple dark wash just using black and i just so happen to have some lamp black here acrylic paint you can use whatever you prefer of course so I'm just going to water this down, stick it into a uh, container here, my well used container. So just put a squirt in and I've got some water here with a paintbrush. And we'll just water that down to a watery consistency. You can see there's some old paint in there as well, this paint was left over from the last video. So I don't want to waste it. Usually I like to do like a wash like a dark, a very dark brown, almost black, but like a brown, more natural earthy color, rather than black. But um, we're just going to do, we are going to do a solid black wash. Well, not solid, but watered down. You get me drift. And also, we've got a damp cloth here to wipe over the top to reveal the highlights. We use a bigger brush to apply the paint or the wash onto the dragon. I'll just wore that down a bit more. I don't know if you can see that consistency there. I'm gonna try and get it down to a nearly kind of milk-like consistency. Right, so we give that a go. Let's move that to one side. Really use that as a kind of wedge. I was uh, looking for something to stick underneath this uh, dragon. I need one of those um, turn clay turntable things, but I haven't got one in the house at the moment. There are some somewhere outside of the house, but I don't know where they are. So we'll just have to make do for the time being. Anyway, here we go. So there you can see you've got the wash in and then we'll just use the rag just to reveal those highlights before it dries too much. There's a sink just underneath the camera here so I can take out the excess paint from the rag, rinse it out. Right, so there we are. He looks a bit patchy at the moment, but we'll let it dry off and that should, uh, the black should be a little bit more subtle once it's dried off a bit more. So put that to one side. So as you saw in the last video, we did quite a dark, heavy wash over the dragon. So in this video, we're going to tone the, the wash down a bit by watering down the paint some more. So it's going to be a very light wash in black. So you've got a very watery consistency. Got a trusty rag. 
So with these casts, all we're doing is washes, and that's it, no dry brushing, just a wash to give that nice natural washed look or wearing or worn look. Turn it over, do the other side or the underneath. So there we are, there's a nice dark wash on that fossil. This is one of my favorite pieces actually, this casted fossil. So we just let this dry for a bit. Once, that's, once it's totally dry, we will seal it with something. So anyway, we'll let that dry and we'll come back to that in a moment. So there we are folks, job done. And we got a kind of oldie worldy look on these items with a black wash. The kind of finish here reminds me of some of the churches around these parts. I live in the UK, Somerset, England. And sometimes you'll see churches or old buildings which have this kind of effect on them. And there we are, job done. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and over and out for now.